honored by the Associated Press in the category of Best Newscast for all of Louisiana. This is NBC 10 News at 6. Turning now to weather, we saw some clouds cross the Arklemis with just a little bit of rain today. We sure did, Heather, but lots of people are still hoping for snow instead of rain, <laughs> including you. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're in the Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Beautiful day outside today. Very nice and kind of surprising because we were expecting mid to upper 50s yeah, for highs yeah. and got into the low to mid 60s. And I think we could see that trend for the first half. That's of what next we want to hear. Listen up, you may live in one of 4,000 homes that were added to flood zones. This means if you live in one of these areas or homes, you'll need to buy flood insurance. Flash flooding as a result of torrential rain Sunday left at least two dead and one missing in northeast Arkansas. Police said a man and woman died when their vehicle overturned while they were traveling on a rural road. They also said a 14 year old boy is missing after he got caught in a sudden current and was swept into a storm drain. Local teen go to school in style this morning. It was on a monster truck called Bigfoot. 13 year old Brandon Wolf was diagnosed with autism when he was five, and his parents always encouraged him to be the best he could be. He's a typical sixth grader at Schwartz Upper Elementary who likes comic books. He's training for a Special Olympics Louisiana golf tournament coming up in April. A lawsuit is being filed against the Northeast Louisiana War Veterans Home after an 83 year old veteran died after he wandered away from the facility. The suit claims Ernest Moody left from the veteran's home in his wheelchair the morning of January 4th. Well, the eighth grade student who shot himself after firing at a teacher in Lafouche Parish has died. Here's a look at the crime scene weeks ago after police say 15-year-old Justin Doucet walked into a school classroom and fired a single shot, missing a teacher. Police say he then walked into a nearby bathroom and shot himself using his father's gun. Megan, the feeling out here is electric. This is the heart of Houdat Nation. Let me tell you this. Earlier today, the streets were buzzing with people in anticipation of tonight's game. By the time the game went on, you could count the number of people in the streets, you could count the cars in the streets. Everybody was in a bar, in a lobby, watching the game. But before the time clock even ran out, these streets were buzzing once again like it was earlier today because everybody was excited about this Saints win. All right, as you can see right here, we're on Canal Street right now in front of the, the famous Singer Theater. The streets are, are shoulder to shoulder. The cars are bumper to bumper. And I got some friends back here who have something they want to say to everybody in Monroe. <laughs> From the heart of Houdat Nation, this is Rudy Williams, NBC 10 News. All Anthony Richmond wanted was a small truck. He went to this Bastrop car dealership, traded in his old truck, and got a new one. A few weeks later, Richmond started getting calls from creditors looking for payment on the truck he traded for the new one. The place that I have the loan at says in 60 days, if I don't make a payment, they're going to repossess the truck. The problem is, he doesn't have it, and the dealership won't give it back. He and his wife have tried everywhere for help. We talked to DMV, who also informed us that uh, that truck still shows up in my name. This is the truck that the Richmond say they traded in for the 2008 truck. But according to people who work here at the dealership, no one knows who's responsible for it. We tried talking to dealership management. I don't have anything to do with it. If y'all want to know the real truth, you need to talk to the owner of the dealership. Oh, who's off, who's off. Hey, none of them are here right now. We also tried to talk to the salesman who sold Richmond the new truck. I don't think it's in the lot. It's not. I don't think so. Yeah, but you sold it or is it not? You're not going to sell it. Yeah, I know that. Where can we see it? I don't know where it's at. We found it parked right next to where he was parked. All Anthony Richmond wants is his old truck back or the payoff. So far, nobody's really given us any answers of how we can get this fixed. The recording lasts about an hour, and by all appearances, the secret recording was made by Chief Schluter himself. And we're going to play just a couple of brief portions of that tape. We've chosen not to play portions that might be defamatory to others or that might be embarrassing to the mayor. And that's because that's not the point. The point is the fact that a secret tape was somehow made in the mayor's office without his knowledge. No, I'm not taking that any more money. You know, they put. I'm not just doing. It. Well, our savings accounts depleted. I mean, yeah. I mean, I know it's not called savings account, but you know, we had to use that money last year. Anything extra we got this year, we would be putting back into that that account to build that fund balance up. That's the voice of Monroe Police Chief Ron Schluter discussing the purchase of city vehicles with Mayor Jamie Mayo. Later in the secret tape, the mayor talks more about the city budget. Yeah, but I've just decided that I'm a no good in something, no matter what I do from a different perspective. But if I'm going to be a no good in something, I'm going to be a no good in something trying to do the right thing. Right. Because we can't do nothing if the city's bankrupt 
The evidence that it was Schluter himself secretly recording the conversation comes at the end of the tape. You hear him leaving the mayor's office, even giving directions to someone on the street. Where are you trying to go? Yeah, just straight down the street here. Now, in parts of the tape we've chosen not to air, the mayor and the chief talk about disciplinary actions against a police officer. They talk about sending food baskets to black pastors in the area to gain their favor. And, of course, they talk about politics. Tonight, the Monroe Free Press says it has information that many more such tapes exist. We received this particular tape by email, so we have no idea how it actually got out. Fox 14 did try to reach Chief Schluter tonight, and we were not successful, but we'll continue to try. The mayor did tell Fox 14 earlier today that the situation will be thoroughly investigated. And Detective Roark, how would the impact of today's vote impact the working relationship between officers and the chief should, or when he does, uh, return? Well, certainly it would be tense. Um, I think the chief knows he's, he's been there a long time. He was uh, a lifelong member of the union. I think he understands that this is a, an action that uh, is unfortunate and, and, and was placed uh, upon us as uh, something that we just had to deal with. We're live out here on Millhaven Road for this uh, breaking news. Right behind me, about 50 feet down the street, is a small single-engine plane that went down uh, somewhat ab uh, about an hour or so ago. Uh, we're just learning some details about uh, the, the pilot. We've got some pictures to show you. In those pictures, you can see the plane is pretty mangled at the end. We have uh, a number on the plane that was able to tell us exactly who that plane is registered to, and that's Brooks Flying Service out of Calhoun, Louisiana. We've got several Monroe police, uh, uh, Louisiana State Police. We also have fire department out here working the scene right now. There's no fire. Um, things are calming down just a little bit. The plane is still on the track, so the uh, train that is trying to go east on this train track has been stopped. Now, traffic has been stopped as well. You cannot get down Garrett Road, or from Garrett Road, rather, uh, going east on Mill Haven, and they've also got traffic blocked the other way. So if you're needing to travel in this direction, it's a no-go. You cannot do it. Police will stop you right there at Garrett and send you the other way. Why do you get Heather revved up that way? Just to watch the <laughs> excitement and glow in her eyes. I'm like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> That's it for us. Our next news starts tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. with NBC10 News Today. In the meantime, more news, weather, and sports log on MyArcleMist.com. Only 56 days away from the 2010 Winter Olympics right here on NBC10. Have a good night.